I know that this is going to sound a little bit crazy because it's probably the exact opposite that you've heard everyone else say, but you don't need an actuarial internship in order to get an actuarial job. I suggest that aspiring actuaries go and get what I call a stepping stone position. Now, a stepping stone position is a position that you work in for at least four months that gives you a lot of the experience and skills and knowledge that an actuarial employer is going to be looking for. And the best part is you can get these skills and experiences and this knowledge from a non-actuarial position. And that's what we are talking about today. That's what a stepping stone job is. It's a place where you get all this exposure to things that actuarial employers really care about without actually working in an actuarial position. Actuarial employers are looking for lots of different qualities and skill sets in their potential hires. For example, they would love people that have presentation experience, data analytic experience, technical experience, data entry experience. If you can show your problem solving skills and your critical thinking skills, that's really good too. They'd love to have someone that has some financial background, banking experience, investing experience, or anything financial related. They'd love having someone with that kind of experience. If you have exposure to budgeting, that would be awesome too. Or if you have any experience with financial projects or pricing, scenario testing, anything like that. And I know these are a lot of things that could potentially be related to the actuarial career, but any of these things, if you have experience or exposure to them, it's going to help increase your chances of getting an actuarial job because it's hard to come across candidates that have these different types of exposure and also have exams passed and also have the technical skills and also want to pursue an actuarial career. A while ago, I did a study of 100 entry-level actuarial jobs to really get a sense of the trends in what actuarial employers are looking for. And we're actually doing a new version of that study right now, so keep your eyes tuned for the results. So from that study, I actually learned that there are five key qualifications that actuarial employers are asking for again and again. One of those is a bachelor's degree. About 95% of employers wanted an actuarial candidate with a bachelor's degree. 85% wanted someone that had great technical skills. 75% wanted great communication skills. 74% wanted at least one exam passed. And 56% wanted someone with relevant experience. Now, if you have all five of these qualifications, then you are a top candidate in terms of your qualifications. Stepping stone positions tend to be easier to get than actuarial jobs. And that's because, well, there are way more of them available. The competition is lower and the qualifications to get these stepping stone positions aren't usually as high as they would be for an actuarial position. So this means even if you don't have any related experience right now, or if you have experience that's very unrelated to the actuarial career, you can go out and get a stepping stone position and that's going to really boost your chances of being able to get an actuarial job later. And by the way, if you are a member of the Actuary Accelerator community, you can now get access to our stepping stone position quiz. And this is going to help you figure out if the stepping stone positions you are considering while you're in the rising candidate phase are really stepping stone positions or not. So does no experience really mean no actuarial job? I mean, all of these job postings I'm showing on the screen right now, they say that experience is wanted and some of them even specify that actuarial experience is wanted. And the answer is that no, absolutely not. Just because a job posting says that they want someone with experience, that doesn't necessarily mean that they're not willing to deviate. Usually job postings state the requirements for the ideal candidate, and that's not always going to be someone that they can necessarily find. So they are willing to hire someone that doesn't necessarily have all the qualifications that are stated. However, for these jobs that do say that they would prefer someone with experience, your stepping stone position experience is really going to help boost your candidacy for those particular jobs. Entry level does not really mean entry level. It means not only do you need a whole bunch of qualifications, but you also often need one year of related experience. If you want to get into an actuarial role as quickly as possible, then you might consider actually taking a different approach. We earlier talked about networking. That should be the very first thing that you start doing because it is something that you're going to want to continue doing throughout this actuarial journey. After that, I recommend you start learning Microsoft Excel and a programming language. We also talked about how important those things are. So you're not going to be able to get an actuarial job without those skills. Now I recommend doing them next 
because later on after you've learned those things you're going to look for a stepping stone position and a stepping stone position is going to give you experience that is related to the actuarial career at this point once you get that stepping stone position and have worked in the position for maybe a couple of months it means that you are going to have started building up a network, you're going to have solid foundation in Microsoft Excel and a programming language. Hopefully you've done some projects as well. Then you're going to be able to use those Excel skills and programming skills in your stepping stone position, hopefully, like the best stepping stone positions would require you to use those skills but also your stepping stone position is going to allow you to learn other things like hopefully insurance concepts, maybe do some data analysis or data entry. It's going to start building up your experience for your resume and for your next position, which is hopefully going to be an actuarial role. At that time, once you've got your stepping stone position, that's when you start studying for exams. No earlier, because you can be studying for exams while you are gaining valuable experience, and it means you're doing two things at the same time that are going to help you get an actuarial role. So, for example, an underwriter. An underwriter is someone that works really closely with actuaries usually. They're involved with a lot of insurance concepts. They're working with insurance policies all the time. And they just have overall a lot of insurance knowledge and they are great people to move into actuarial roles just because they have so much experience with insurance and they have an in-depth knowledge of some of the actuarial concepts and stuff like that. So if you could get a stepping stone position as an underwriter or an underwriter assistant, then those could be really, really good stepping stone positions for you to gain exposure to all the things that we talked about earlier that actuarial employers are looking for. Some other examples might be a data analyst or a financial analyst or a risk analyst, maybe an accountant or a bookkeeper or really anything in finance or investments tends to be good. Or a lot of positions in insurance companies are really good too if you're getting a lot of exposure to insurance and starting to understand how it all works really well. How how did you go about getting into your stepping stone position as an underwriter? What did that look like for you? So for me, it was right around the time I, you know, passed exam FM. I decided that since I was in the program at the time that everyone talked about the stepping stone position. I think at the time, if I'm not remembering incorrectly, there was someone you had interviewed who was an underwriter, which at the time I didn't really even know that that had, that was a position uh, before realizing it was a stepping stone job. So when I was applying for jobs, you know, obviously I wanted an actuary position, but I just didn't think that that would happen without the experience. So I was putting in a lot of jobs for any sort of analyst role I could, underwriting jobs, more so trying to get insurance rather than banking, but you know, if the right opportunity came along, I wasn't going to say no to a banking underwriting job and anything that really, I thought that I would use a lot of Excel in specifically. So, and I went through a couple interviews. Uh, I put in a lot of applications and then I just ended up getting lucky with uh, finding a small firm that was looking for someone that had had, you know, some bad luck with their like, past couple people that they got. And they wanted to go with someone who was not as, uh, it was a little bit less experienced in the industry. That way they could kind of like, you know, build them up and shape them into their own thing. So, and then in that process, I also took the advice of not putting the actuary exams on that resume. Uh, I had two resumes. I had one that had the actuary exams and one that didn't. <laughs> and that one I applied to without the actuary exams, obviously, just because I didn't want them to you know, realize that it was a stepping stone job. The best stepping stone positions will require that you use Microsoft Excel and a programming language on the job. So if those are still skills that you need to know how to use, then make sure you jump into the Actuary Accelerator community. Go to the Rising Candidate Phase Module 2, where you'll get access to Excel and programming courses, plus there are 10 actuarial-based projects that you can do to demonstrate your skills to employers. Go check it out right now.